In this question, we are asked to determine the first derivative, but they have specifically said that we should use first principles. So we need the first principle formula. And so in a test, what you would do, and by the way, it should say f of x over here. I apologize. And so in the test, what you'd do is you'd say f of x equals to uh, the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Now what you do is you just go fill everything in. So your first step is to replace all x's with x plus h. Okay, that takes care of that part. Then there's a minus, and then you just write out the normal f of x, which is the original, so that's that, over h. What you should now identify is that you have a fraction and a fraction, so you need a common denominator. That common denominator, I'm just going to write it over here, is going to be x plus h times x. That means this part would be multiplied with x, and then you must keep the denominator. We don't have an equation here. Oh, and I should be writing limit, shouldn't I? That's very important. Teachers get very uptight about that. It's so ridiculous. There we go. We've got to keep writing that down. And then we say minus. Now this one needs to be multiplied by x plus h. So we use a bracket. And then the denominator there is x, x plus h. And then all of that, of course, is still over h. Now what we can do, if we look over here at the top, the denominators are now the same, and so we can simply combine, and so that's going to give us, we must say, limit as h goes to 0, teachers have a heart attack, and then we can say 2x minus 2x plus h over x, x plus h, and that is all over h. Okay, so all I did in that step was I combined these because they now had the same denominator. Now what we do is we simplify this top part, and so that's going to be limit as h goes to 0, and that's going to give us 2x minus 2x minus 2h over x, x plus h, and then that is all over h. What you do now is you simplify. So this part over here, we can see that these two x's would cancel, and so we can say we left with minus 2h over there, over x, x plus h, all over h. So now we have a fraction on top of a fraction, and because we can think of this h as h over 1. So now we can do that whole flipping and timesing thing. So you can, I'm just going to write it over here. Usually you would write it underneath. That's going to become minus 2h over x, x plus h, multiplied by 1 over h. Have a look here, these h's would cancel, and so can then say minus 2, because I'm just multiplying across, over x, x plus h. You could multiply this bracket out if you want to, you could have done it earlier as well. Um, I haven't let h become 0 yet, so I'm still going to keep writing this thing over here on the, on the side, and that's going to be minus 2 over x squared plus xh. Now we are at a position where we can let h become 0, and so that's going to become minus 2 over x squared plus x times 0, and that's going to be minus 2 over x squared. Notice that when I make h 0, I don't have to write limit, okay? And that's it.